Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the latest TV backlight from Fancy LEDs. This is the Fancy Sync Box supporting HDMI 2.1, making it perfect for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X as it supports 4K at 120Hz. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I'll show you how to install this, set up the app, showing you around the functionality, and we'll test it out with movies and doing some gaming on my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X to see how well it performs at 4K 120Hz, highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Let's unbox this and take a look at what you get in the packaging. You get a thank you card and a user manual, the HDMI sync box, a power adapter with a DC connector, the LED light strip, which is 6.125 meters in length with 48 LEDs per meter. It has a cable with a USB type C connection on there. And there's a 3M sticky tape on the back of the LEDs. You also get a HDMI 2.1 cable and finally a bag containing corner brackets and stickers for attaching them. Taking a closer look at the sync box, it's it's pretty compact. I put the dimensions on the screen. There's two buttons on the top. The first one is an on off button and you can reset the Wi-Fi by holding onto this. And the other button is a mode switcher letting you switch between the different lighting modes without using the app. At the back you've got one HDMI input, one HDMI output, a type C input where you'd connect the LED strip light and a DC power input. At the front you've got some status icons and underneath you've got some vents and rubber feet. Let's get this set up and just to note there's three size options options available for the LEDs so a 24 to 55 inches version a 70 to 90 inches version and a 56 to 65 inch version which is what I have here as I'll be installing this on my LG OLED G3 65 inch TV. The installation process is quite simple wipe down the back of your TV to remove any dust then take the four brackets stick the double sided sticky tape provided to them and then stick the brackets on each of the corners of the back of your TV. Next, installing the LED light strip. This can be done either from the left or right bottom corner of the TV. I'm installing from the bottom right hand corner when facing the back of the TV. Remove the tape from the 3M sticky pad and stick the LED strip light into position into the first corner bracket by slotting it into the clips. Then lock the cable with the type C connector into position you can stick the LED along the side, moving up to the next bracket and then clip into position and repeat this on the remaining two brackets, returning the LED back to the starting bracket. Now you'd identify the closest cut point with the copper points and cut along the line shown. You can then stick down the remaining LED and insert it into the bracket. There's a good amount of LED strip left over for me, which you won't need, but if you wanted to reuse it, for instance, if you bought a bigger TV later on, you can solder it on or clip it to connect it up. I've got a video how to do this and I'll include a link to that in the description. Now I can connect up the sync box, connect the HDMI input, I'm plugging in my Xbox Series X, plug in the HDMI cable provided in the HDMI output and the other end connects to your TV. Plug in the USB-C cable from the light strip and then connect the DC power connector. I've then slotted the sync box into the gap between my TV mounting bracket and then we can turn it on. The LED light strip initially lights up and goes through a brief calibration there's some functionality on the sync box where you can use the power button to allow you to turn it on and off. The mode selection lets you switch between sync mode, music sync and static colors and the light indicator on the front shows the mode is currently in together with the Wi-Fi connectivity status and the setup direction of the LEDs. So let's get this set up. Download the fancy LED app which is available on both the Google Play and Apple Store. It's a two year based product so you could use the two year or Smart Life app as an alternative. Start up the app and create an account. Click add device and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. It picks up the device straight away. Click add, enter in your Wi-Fi password, but just make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network as five gigahertz Wi-Fi is not supported. Click next and that's it, as simple as that to add in the device. Let me show you around the functionality. From the home screen, you can turn the sync box on and off, select the sync box and going into the edit option, you've got the ability to rename it, set up smart automation and you can use it with Alexa, Google Assistant and SmartThings. Plus you can share with other users and create groups. 
groups. Going into settings, you can calibrate the starting corner of the LEDs to make sure the colors sync correctly with what's being displayed on the screen, depending on how you've installed the LEDs. Underneath this is a scene mode CES. This lets you decide if the LEDs should automatically turn on or off with the TV when a scene mode from the scenes tab is activated. Under sync, you can change the brightness levels, the diffusion mode, which gives three different options affecting the level of reactivity in the LEDs. Low mode lets you see four colors at once. On medium mode, you get 12 colors and high mode displays as many colors as possible. The speed of diffusion in each mode controls the transition rate of the LEDs. Then you have sound, which has different modes, allowing you to sync to sounds in your room. Next, there's scenes, and this gives you a selection of predefined scenes, giving some cool effects. I'll go through some of the effects they provide. And if you notice from the star effect onwards, you'll see a color palette appear below, allowing you to select a color to use with the scene. And finally, there's color, which allows you to select a static color, but you don't have the ability to set colors on different segments on the LED, which is something that I would have personally liked. And that's it. That's all the options you have available. Now, before I test this out, there's a couple of things worth mentioning. The sync box can only sync input signals from a HDMI port that's connected to the sync box. So if you have a smart TV, it won't sync any of the inbuilt apps or if you're using a TV with an aerial plugged in, it also won't sync. If you turn off the sync box via the button on the device or via the app and you have any devices on, the signal will pass through and the sync box will continue to work. But if you turn the power off on the sync box via the plug, then any input won't be displayed. So let's first test this out with a color wheel and performance wise it's awesome with it being much more accurate than a camera based system and the advantage here is if your TV unit has a glossy surface or if you have lights on in your room it doesn't impact color quality like it does on a camera based system. The colors transitioning on the LEDs are changing really well and accurately with it being spot on with no lag and no delay. Onto the color smoke effects traveling across the screen this does a great job replicating the colors onto the LED strips and the lighting remains dim in the dark regions. Now testing with movies and no surprise it works perfectly even with the letterbox effect it doesn't reduce the lighting and it still works really well as you can see here. There's a good amount of coverage on the walls from the LED lights giving a great immersive experience and this also helps to reduce eye strain when watching in dark room. So overall it does a great job with the LEDs being bright and vibrant in the different colors and especially with the white levels. Color transitioning works really well and accurately, especially when replicating from different scenes, even in far scenes. Onto gaming, I've connected up the sync box to my Xbox Series X and looking at the settings, you can see in TV details that everything is ticked. So 4K at 120 Hertz is supported. In video mode, everything is ticked, meaning that it supports allow auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate is supported, which is a massive step forward as some of the other sync boxes I've tested didn't support that. Now let's test out some gaming on both my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. I've played a number of different games ranging from Forza Motorsport which is a racing game and FPS games like Apex Legends, Call of Duty plus RPG games like Spider-Man 2 together with Fortnite and Astro's Playroom which are both set in quite a colorful environment. Performance from the sync box and the LEDs is really good with the visual effects being really immersive and drawing you into the game even more. Even in the faster scenes the colors replicating from the screen to the LED light strip is excellent with no major delay and graphics looking smooth. It even works really well in dead zones and this is where the light levels are low or dimmer than the rest of the screen and performance was excellent even when transitioning colors in fast scenes. With everything enabled, including VRR, HDR, and Dolby Vision, there were no issues at all on the sync box. The colors didn't wash out either, making this the first ever HDMI 2.1 sync box that's finally nailed it with no limitations, working perfectly when gaming. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Philips Hue sync box, Govi's AI gaming sync box, and Lightme's HDMI 2.1 sync box to see how they compare against each other. Philips Hue and Govi only support HDMI 2.0, so the maximum resolution supported is 4K at 60 Hz, with Govi not supporting VRR. And I found the LED brightness levels being lower than all the others, but Philips Hue and Govi have a number of different lights which you can link up with a sync box to give an even more immersive viewing experience, together with providing you with segmented control on the LEDs if you wanted multiple static colors displayed at the same time. But price-wise, Philips Hue is ridiculously high. On to 
like me, which does support HDMI 2.1, but it doesn't support VRR. In comparison, Fancy Syncbox outperformed all of them in terms of HDMI 2.1 support with no limitation. Color representation and brightness levels were excellent, making this an awesome sync box. So in summary, fancy LEDs have created the world's first fully functioning HDMI 2.1 sync box where there's no limitations, providing a really immersive experience, supporting 4K at 120Hz, VRR and auto low latency is supported on both my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. The LEDs are bright, giving excellent color representation and great white levels. There's minimal to no lag, even in fast action scenes, and the level of immersion is excellent. The fancy sync box has a major advantage over all three of the sync boxes coming from Philips Hue, Govee and LightMe as it supports both auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate giving smooth and accurate color display and no stuttering or flickering. It has great dead zone support meaning the LED light strip dims down in the darker areas and the app has a nice selection of options plus it's a two year based app so you could use a two year app or the Smart Life app as an alternative. Price wise it comes in cheaper than both Philips Hue's SyncBox and LightMe's SyncBox coming in at just under £188 for the 55 to 65 inch version. Negatives wise the fancy SyncBox only works on HDMI inputs meaning it won't work with inbuilt apps on a smart TV or any signals that don't go via the SyncBox. It's a shame that the SyncBox only has one HDMI input port but I guess you could get a HDMI 2.1 splitter allowing you to connect multiple devices. There's no ability to link other lights in your room to this to sync at the same time but I know fancy LEDs are working on some other lighting products to allow you to do this. And I would have liked the app to have the option where you have segmented control over the whole of the light strip where you can set different colors as the app only allows a single color to be selected. And this would have been really useful, especially in situations where you're using the inbuilt apps on your TV and just wanted some ambient lighting in your room. But overall, I'm really impressed with Fancy LED's HDMI 2.1 sync box as there's finally a sync box that supports 4K at 120 hertz with no limitations. So they truly have nailed it. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. If you have any questions on this, then let me know in the comments below. For those of you who got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with Fancy Sync Box as it's awesome to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.